This has got to be the hardest part of doing a raw diet. Friday morning everyone today is a pretty good day I slept well and had some weird dreams though I had a dream that Harlow and I were on the run from the law because we committed some kind of crime it was really entertaining but I think I've been watching too much prison break <laughs> but anyways today I have a doctor appointment with my primary care physician I've been trying to see her for a while now but the last appointment, I was really sick with my gastroparesis, so I couldn't go, and the appointment before that, Harlow was sick, so I had to cancel. And she actually called me on her cell phone after hours to make sure I was okay, because she hadn't seen me in a while. And I was gonna go in this week, but it's been so hard for me to drive. It's not safe lately, because I'm very dizzy and off balance. And since Judd has another late shift today, he's going in the late afternoon, he said to make an appointment for this morning so he can take me, which I really appreciate. So we're gonna go see my awesome primary care, and it, should be a good visit. Judd's awake. Mm -hmm. He got a snack from Wawa. Mm -hmm. I am not eating, but look, I have my new shorts on. So I've got like this cute outfit. I didn't think the pink was gonna match the shorts, but I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. We're on the way to my doctor. Just finished with my doctor. It went super well. Now we are in this elevator that is a little too creepy for my liking. <laughs> The appointment went well. I thought it was really sweet because I just casually mentioned that Judd and I had gotten married and she was like, oh my gosh, y'all got married? That was so sweet of her, wasn't it? She was super excited. She's a very good doctor too. She is a good doctor. She evaluated my feeding tube site. There is some minor granulation tissue, but she's really happy I'm having that nurse come once a week to check me out and that I have physical therapy coming to my home because she's noticed my mobility has greatly declined, but as my chronic illnesses progress and flare, that will happen. So she's glad I'm using tools like the walker. She's in support of the custom wheelchair I'm getting. We talked about IVIG and she's glad I'm doing it at an infusion center because that's safer than doing it at home due to the reaction I had the first time I did it. And that is progressing. It's moving slowly, but it's going well. We're just waiting for the infusion center and insurance to work things out. And yeah, so overall it was a really good appointment. I am so excited. We were driving home and on the way I saw nothing but cake. Apparently there's some all over Tampa now. I didn't know that. I, the, like, the only one I know of is in Orlando. So Judd was like, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah. And apparently he doesn't even know what it is. But there's a Chipotle next to it. So tacos for lunch. What? Oh my, you ate. How are you still hungry? How are you not? Because I could listen not to Not all of us eat 24 seven like you do. <laughs> We just don't get food pumped into our stomach. <laughs> Shut up. We have to actually do the eating. <laughs> I was like, I can list a lot of reasons why I'm not hungry, but there's nothing bun cake. We have to go in and see. <gasps> it's like a little bakery that makes these delicious bun cakes. I seriously only thought they were in Orlando, but now there's some in Tampa. Look at this amazing thing. These things are delicious. I like the red velvet and the chocolate chocolate chip. I got my tacos, carnitas, because Jack doesn't cook enough Hispanic food. Yeah, my mom's Venezuelan. And she doesn't even cook enough Hispanic food. My mom doesn't cook Hispanic no food. No one in Jacqueline's family cooks enough Hispanic food, <laughs> thus Sorry. leaving this deficit of Hispanic food in my life. You're very loud. I'm very adamant about my <laughs> Hispanic food. So Judd got Chipotle and I got my bunt cake to eat when, hopefully I'll be able to eat it. My oral intake has not been great lately, but I still have this and that makes me happy. I got red velvet. <laughs> Doug's enjoying his tacos before he heads off to work. Mm -hmm. They good? Oh, Harlow. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that, but she just let out the loudest burp. That's not very ladylike, Harlow. <laughs> so obviously today is a difficult day with mobility. I'm kind of stuck to the walker, so Har is gonna help me out. Harlow, stop looking at his tacos. Harlow, go get my slippers, get it. Really? That is not what I asked for. <laughs> Come here. But it's what she wants to bring you. Because you mean a lot to go her. Go get my slippers. Go. She's going to grab another toy. No, she better not grab another toy. Good girl. 
You know, somebody suggested, Harlow, go get the slipper, good girl. Putting the slippers together, like clipping them together, which was a smart idea. I should probably do that. Good There job. was something on Shark Tank about that. Harlow, go get the blanket, get the blanket. Good girl. You're so good, thank you. You're not getting a taco. Harlow, go to Chipotle on. and get me more tacos. <laughs> More tacos. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> Judd is off to work. I just got off the phone with like a 45 minute conversation, my pre-op appointment. They do it over the phone now, making sure they have all my medications, medical conditions, past history, stuff like that. So I'm good to go for my feeding tube change, which is happening Tuesday. I'm gonna arrive a few hours before the actual change so they can prep me for the procedure and all should be good. Now I am going to start prepping Harlow's raw meals for the week. All right, I did the kidney and liver, then I took a break, then I came back and chopped everything up. We got chicken hearts, ground beef, red meat, goat, chicken breasts, and then I took another break. Now I'm gonna start divvying up all this meat into her bags for the week. Leftovers go in the back along with her bones. We've got her veggie pops and yogurt pops here. All of her raw meals. What do you think, Hippo? That prep took a lot out of me. I took a lot of breaks. I even took a nap in the middle of that prep and that's okay because it's not a race about how fast I prep. I'm just really thankful I was able to get it done because the raw diet has really been beneficial for Harlow and I'm gonna do my best to keep at it even though prep day is really taxing on me. So now I'm gonna go rest a bit. I am exhausted from that prep. Prep day doesn't always make me feel this bad, but sometimes it does. It just makes my chronic pain worse and my fatigue. This has got to be the hardest part of doing a raw diet, the prep day. But I do it for Harlow because I've noticed so there's so many benefits of the raw diet. Healthier skin, healthier coat, stronger immune system, better build. I know exactly what Harlow is eating, no preservatives. It's a healthy, wholesome diet for Harlow, and I wanna give her the best because she gives me her all, and she means so much to me. At the same time, I know a raw diet isn't feasible for everybody. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to stick to it, even though I know the benefits are there because of my physical limitations and how hard it is to do prep day, but because Judd helps me sometimes and because I can take as long as I need to to prep and as many breaks as I need to, I can handle it once a week, and I'm just, thankful that I'm able to do it even though I do get repercussions like this so I am going to rest now um if you want to learn more about raw diets you can follow a link in the description but yeah definitely need to take a rest now I was sleeping but I was woken up by a phone call and I have my evaluation scheduled for my custom wheelchair so my doctor sent a script for physical therapy and an assistive technology professional to evaluate me it's called a seating and mobility evaluation. The physical therapy location that my durable medical equipment company chose to use called me and set me up to come in on the 24th of August. Now that's dependent upon whether or not the ATP can make it at that time and date as well because the ATP and PT need to evaluate me at the same time and they said it'll take a few hours for the evaluation to be done and after that evaluation they will discuss with me what is the best type of chair, what we're going to add onto the chair, like if I can get power assisted wheels and things like that, then we see what insurance will cover. My doctor will probably give like letters of necessity to have insurance cover more and you know, we just work with everyone to get what I need and what's going to be best for me. So I'm excited to do this evaluation. Harlow has some delicious food tonight, quail egg, her veggie pop, yogurt pop, mango, blueberries, and the new stuff, goat. A chunk of red meat, which is beef. Oh, got dizzy bending down there. Chicken breasts, the organs, chicken hearts, just lots of nice stuff. All right, spin. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> yep, right for that quail zig. You really like that, don't you? <laughs> I don't make Harlow do a lot of tricks and commands for every meal. Sometimes it's just a simple spin and she can eat. So one question I'm often asked about the raw diet is, are you worried about it because you're immunocompromised? No, I'm not. I guess the most dangerous part would be handling all of the raw meat, but one, I handle raw meat when I cook meals for Judd and I, and two, I'm really careful and clean about handling the meat. I don't touch the meat and then touch myself. I keep my area very clean and when I'm done, I completely sanitize everything, clean everything. So 
No, I'm not worried about that. And another question I often get is, are you worried about bacteria? No, because a dog's stomach acid has a different pH level than a human's. They don't have to worry about bacteria like we do. Everything I'm feeding Harlow, she can handle 100%. And the other question is, are you worried about her eating and then coming and giving you a kiss and transferring bacteria like that way? No, because dogs have a specific enzyme in their mouth that cleans their mouth really well, which is why they tend to lick their wounds. And so when she's done eating, that enzyme will clean her mouth. So I'm not worried about those things. And because of all that, Harlow is safe with a raw diet and I'm safe with her raw diet. We're also asked, Harlow, how do we clean your bowl? Literally like that, it goes in the dishwasher. All right, Har, shut it. Good girl, shut it. Good dog. Oh, it's my bund cake. I got red velvet. So besides my nutrition, my 24 seven feeds, I've only managed a slice of bread with peanut butter on it today. Obviously my oral intake is not great. Um, I'm also having, still having some issues tolerating my feeds. Like yesterday, I was able to tolerate my goal rate of 35 milliliters an hour. Today, I'm back down to 25, because if I go higher, it's just causing a lot of nausea and pain. So, of course, I'll be talking to my GI about that when I see him August 1st, but I'm really thankful because I'm feeling okay-ish enough to have at least a bite of my bun cake. So here we go. It's pretty amazing. So anyways, with that happy note there, really thankful for that one bite. I will say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure. <laughs>